Maldives' new president has formally asked India to withdraw its troops from Maldives, but has agreed to discuss workable solutions for continued cooperation of Indian military assets as they serve the interests of the people of Maldives. Maldives' new president has said that he will soon visit Pakistan, and would also appoint its ambassador to Pakistan, as Maldives desires of further strengthening diplomatic relations with Pakistan. Vice President of Economic Explosives Limited has said, that the company has successfully delivered 10 lakh multi-mode hand grenades to the Indian Army. The Special Forces of India and the United States will conduct the Vajra Prahar 2023 Joint Exercise in Counter-Terror Airborne and Special Operations next week. Bharat Forge has confirmed, that the Mag Howitzers that was showcased recently to foreign attaches are destined for Armenia, which makes Armenia the first export customer of the Atag Spinnaker and the Mag. Chennai Harbour has received integrated underwater harbour defence and surveillance system yesterday, that integrates a variety of sensors including radar sonars and electro-optical sensors, that will detect and track all surface or subsurface threats. At the International Conference and Exhibition on Aerospace and Aviation in 2047, the DRDO has made a major revelation, that it has developed two variants of submarine-launched cruise missiles, that includes land attack cruise missile and the anti-ship cruise missile, that features thrust vector control, and is fired from torpedo tubes of submarines. The DRDO also revealed, that a trial was conducted in February 2023, during which it met all the mission objectives with a range of 402 km. It has a diameter of 505 mm, a length of 5.6 m, and has a range of 500 km and a speed of 0.7 Mach. The RDO chief has said, that the RDO is in discussions with Saffron Rolls-Royce and General Electric for the joint development of a sixth-generation engine, and the deal with a foreign partner would be finalized by May 2024. He also said, that the new engine will power AMCA Mark II, and that 110 kN thrust is just a benchmark, as the RDO will increase its thrust capabilities for future program. The core of the new engine will have a dry thrust of 75 kN, and it will be able to generate over 130 kN class of thrust with afterburners for future platforms. The RDO chief has confirmed, that all the clearances have been received from the US, and the F-414 engines for 108 Tejas Mark II and first two squadrons of AMCA Mark I would be produced within the country by Hindustan Aeronautics. He also said, that the first Tejas Mark II prototype will be rolled out within a year, and developmental flight trials will be completed by the end of 2027. The DRDO will clear only basic air-to-air -air and air-to-ground weapons systems, while the Indian Air Force will take care of the weapons certification process in multiple phases. The Indian Navy is closely monitoring the recent development of successful takeoff and landing of Mojave UAV from a Royal Navy aircraft carrier, as the Indian Navy has also expressed interest in exploring similar high-altitude and medium-altitude UAVs from its proposed second aircraft carrier. The Navy is procuring 15 MQ-9BC Guardian drones, and will closely monitor the flight trials of Mojave short takeoff and landing UAV to assess their performance and potential integration into future operations. Today's Top 3 Comments